Hi there. Welcome to this math strategy video. We're going to show you how to solve different problems. Today, we're going to look at finding halves and quarters of numbers by equal sharing. We're going to try four problems. Half of 12, one quarter of 12, half of 18, and one quarter of 20. We'll use some counters today to learn how to do this. Let's get started. A fraction is a part of a whole number. For example, in this blue circle, I've got two parts of this number. So each part of this circle is one half. In this orange circle, I've got three parts. So each part is one third. If I need to find a fraction of a number, that means I need to put that number into smaller groups. These groups need to be the same size. If I'm looking for half, it means that we have two groups, and two groups of equal size. So I've got my 12 counters here. I'm going to put them one at a time in two different groups. So we've got one and one, two and two, three and three, four and four, five and five, six and six. So each group in this case has six and six. So one half of 12 equals 6. This next problem is very similar to the last one. But instead of finding two groups of 12, since it's 1 quarter or 1 fourth, we're going to look for four groups of 12. So I'm going to count 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 3. And as you can see, each group has 3 in it. So 1 quarter of 12 equals 3. Let's try a little bit bigger of a number. We've got 1 half of 18. So as we saw in the first question, we're going to make two groups out of our 18. I'm going to count 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 7, 7, 8, 8, 9, 9. So there are 9 in each group, so half of 18 equals 9. Let's try quarters again for our last problem. 1 quarter, or 1 fourth, of 20 means 4 groups. So 1, 1, 1, 1. 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4, 4, 4, 5, 5, 5, 5. So, each of our groups has 5 in it. So, 1 quarter of 20 equals 5. I hope that this helped. After I'm done talking, I'm going to put some problems up on the screen for you to practice. Pause the video and try the problems. When you're done, unpause the video and check your answers. If you didn't understand something in the video, go back and watch parts of it again. You can use the timestamps in the bottom to find the different problems. Thanks a lot. See you next time.